Hello, everybody. Hope that you are doing well. It's that time of the week again where I take all the delicious filling that was Youth 412 this week, wrap it up in a tortilla, throw a little enchilada sauce and cheese on it, bake it up, and serve it to you nice and hot. It is the weekly youth catch up. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Hope that you are doing well and gals too. Our passage this week was Luke 8, 40 to 56. As we continued our series studying about anxiety and we talked about faith in a hurting world. And we looked at this passage because in this passage, there are two people who encounter Jesus who have situations that seem absolutely hopeless. And in both of these situations, we see Jesus take the time to bring peace to these situations in very different sorts of ways. One person is healed and the other one's an even bigger miracle. Someone's raised from the dead. These are amazing miracles and they show us that no matter what situation we're in, Jesus is there for us. Jesus takes time for us and Jesus will heal us. And I know that sounds trite, a little bit like, you know, kind of that, we'll just pray and everything will be okay. And I will tell you this, sometimes the healing takes a while. And in one of the stories, it, the woman who was healed wasn't immediately just happy and joyous. She had many other emotions she was dealing with. And it took her a while until she really was at peace after Jesus pulled her aside and told her there was nothing to be afraid of. And then she found peace. And that's a lot like how it can be getting over tough situations, whether there's something that happened at school there's something that happened in our family, something that happened in the outside world that we can't control, like coronavirus and all the things going on. It can take us a while to feel at peace, and that's okay. That's just a part of it. But it's important to know it's not hopeless. Unfortunately, suicide is the number two killer of teens, and we want you to know that before you get to that step, to that sort of drastic feelings, that there are people that can help you. There's the National Suicide Hotline, which I'll throw up here on the screen. There are also your parents, um, adults that are around, myself, Dr. Mosser, Kristen at the church staff. We're always willing to listen and willing to be there for you so that you can find the help that you need or we can direct you to someone who can help you. So we want to make sure that you are aware of that. A few other things that we wanted to let you know about with youth this week. Number one, coming up fairly quickly is our trunk or treat. And I will be up there having a car representing youth. So if you want to come by and help me hand out candy um, and information about All Saints Day that we'll be having at the church, you can come and do that. That is on October the 31st. Um, and the information will be here on the screen for you. Um, you can contact Kristen if you want to sign up your own family for a car, or if you want to help me out, it'd be nice if you let me know so that way I know um, who's coming. Um, the other thing I want to let you know about, speaking of All Saints Day, is on November the 1st at church, we'll be celebrating All Saints Day. It's a time we remember those in our congregation who have passed on in the previous year. So if there's someone in your life that you would like to honor, just contact the church office and they will tell you what you need to do. One last thing, on November the 4th, we will be at Helping Hands in Belton, um, helping with the food pantry there. Um, information will be on your screen, so we won't have youth that night. We'll be at the food pantry. So if you want to help out with that, contact me, text me, email me, message me on any of the social platforms. Just let me know that you're coming so that we can make sure we have enough spots. We have spaces for about 25 people to come help. So if you want to help, sign up today and we will do that and do some good in the neighborhood. So that's really all of it for this week. Short and sweet. We will talk to you all soon, hopefully in person. Love you all. Bye. <laughs>